Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It seems it is time for some awesome leaks for Trail Makers. I don't know, are they leaks? Updates, news, what are we getting next? I'm so excited. There's a surprise live stream today and hopefully we get some cool information on um, what we're going to see. Hey. Hey. There they are, there's the devs. It's been a while since we did the div diary, so this is not quite a div diary, but it's a little sneak peek of something. Yeah. Ooh, a sneak peek. 1.7.3. That's important to uh, to make that distinction. This oh, 1.7.3. Okay. Oh, because I saw people in the chat talking about 1.8. So oh, I just really? want to manage expectations. But it's uh, <laughs> it's big enough for us to want to talk about it. Yes. That's for sure. Uh, right. And that's why. I wonder what they're going to speak about. Ooh, we got some pictures this, here. This, this is cool. This is I. I can bring up a picture of the current blocks here. This is some of the blocks that we have now. Yeah. Okay, and, uh, these the are the blocks I already in the, game. Uh, we are actually gonna overhaul all of them. All the blocks in the game are gonna get an Wait a minute. And what? We do that for various reasons. This game has been in development for eight years now, and or even more actually. Uh, and so there's a lot of stuff that hasn't been touched for, for a long, long, long time. So we have a lot of um, optimizations we wanna do, a lot of things that. Oh, you know, okay. Way. And uh, now's the time. So they wanna optimize the blocks already in the game their appearance is going to change a little bit. This is the new blocks. As you can see, they look a lot cleaner. We've Whoa. tidied up some of the dust and wear and tear, but we've also aligned their appearance. Those look that brand new. The surfaces are now gonna look very similar. So earlier on, we had Ah, uh, so you can see the, the wear and tear on the edges, which we've always had, uh, that little texture. The same. And but uh, I think they've just cleaned up the textures for the blocks, which is cool. We can show this one. This is another oh, cool grid blocks. about it, which is that the grid blocks who have always been looking like this can now be tinted. So no more, just gray. Oh my so god. You can actually paint tinted. them. Nice. You want. Oh. Beautiful. That's gonna be so handy. Oh, and you can put textures on them too. Chrome. And this, Whoa. Uh, I'm showing here, is also that the chrome and the uh, emiss uh, glow skin are gonna work on all of the blocks. Oh, no way. So from now on, it seems you can put chrome and the glow texture on these blocks that you couldn't do before, like the wing pieces and uh, some of the seats. You couldn't do those textures. And these grid blocks, look at this. Okay, not bad, not bad. This is uh, necessary. For example, on the side of the cockpit here, you can see there's some 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 wear and tear. Uh, that's current, new, up. current, uh, new. Okay, you yeah, you can see the difference. Some of the little. It's like this much difference, but it I, it's gonna make build so pretty. If you're someone that really cares about cosmetic design, this uh, little update, you know, 1.7.3, is gonna through. be sweet. Oh. I don't know if I just caught them, they were saying right there, but I believe they're saying they're gonna add a wear and tear system to the blocks. So after the use, they get rusty or something and get that wear and tear effect. Whoa, the difference on the wings there was crazy. Oh, we got a video. Nice. So this is the current uh, live, this is the version of Trailmakers you're all playing right now. Where as you can see, we applied a uh, glow to all of the blocks on okay. this. Okay. Yeah, so this is what current trail makers looks like when you put that texture on and as you can see it doesn't there's a, a couple of blocks there that like the cockpit for example it doesn't really get the the glow, the glow over so uh, now we're gonna wait so don't tell me they fixed that right they fixed that what you gotta have to oh sweet so of course the they did wow the update even the engines too you can put the glow effects on now so you can do this with chrome right so too the glow skin and uh, also the chrome, I think that- Ah, oh, man, really that's good. sweet. That's gonna fix like so many of my builds. Originally, I was using decals to make all the builds like look pretty, but just for a cosmetic and aesthetic design, just having the option to, to have everything already be able to be put glowed on and chrome. Cause chrome's a really nice like texture, but it's like very rarely used because most blocks like wing pieces just don't have that ability. Oh, look at that, there we go. Yeah, look at that, the chrome. So if this is just a snippet of like what's to come, I wonder what else they're gonna add. Okay, well, yeah, so I don't know what happened there. The stream cut off, but I've managed to ask the devs to send me the files so we can take a look at them ourselves here. All right, so here are the images. We can just take a little closer inspection here. Like the seat will be able to be changed now with the texture. It's just like, it's not much, but I mean, it's a big impact. 
if that makes sense. I'm definitely excited for this. You know me, guys. I am the form guy. I love, love building for form rather than function, obviously. But just these little details. I don't know. I, I enjoy building in my free time. And here, look at this. So pretty. Like, you can even see, like, this little nuts and bolts look. You see the hinges and the nuts and bolts? If I go back onto the original image, those are no longer, like, these are the old texture. Cool, and you can see how rusty and dusty the edges and the wear and tear on the hinges are. Yeah, so here we go. Back to the wings. This is the original texture. And you feel, like, this is a really high quality image. Very high quality. As you can see how kind of disgusting it's always been. We've kind of just been dealing with this. I mean, it's, it's the tiniest thing. Like, it's not really affected anything. These, these blocks still function. But I don't know. Just visually, not nice to look at. And then it's all fixed. Chrome nuts and bolts. All the little tiny details. Even the hinge here looks beautiful. And of course, we got the video. Let's put the video on. So what are my thoughts on this little update? Um, I don't know if this is going to be part of something bigger. I have a feeling it is. 1.7.3 could be something bigger. Well, I know we're all waiting for 1.8 and we're all curious to, to know what 1.8 is. But this here is a good step. This is a step in the right direction. To be honest, if I had any insight, I wish I had insight to what's next in the bigger update. But if there's anything more to, to come, in the weeks following so next week hopefully fingers crossed devs johannes if you hit us up with any more news i'm gonna be there to review it like this is this has actually made my day guys <laughs> well it's a very simple little aesthetic change and i'm happy that we're gonna get it some point in the near future obviously it's early days i don't know a date for 1.7.3 i'm happy we're gonna get this little fix i think it's always been a little tiny problem with the seats not being able to be colored and some blocks specifically not able to have the new textures on because the text are like DLCs, right? You have to pay for most of them. So having the ability to make sure everything can be textured is just sweet. Hits the, it hits the right spot. But anyway, guys, I hope you uh, I hope you liked this intel. Thanks to the devs for letting me know about the surprise stream today uh, for some new content. Let me know your thoughts and ideas down below. You know, what do you think about this? Is this helpful or is it just like another, who cares? Uh, to me, I think it's awesome. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.